So I think the things that really stimulate me as far as thought or technology are, are the, the advances arthroscopically around the shoulder. I think there's so much now that we can do around the shoulder. And then when you say arthroscopic surgery, that sort of triggers in everyone's mind, well, now it's outpatient and it's pretty slick and, and convenient surgery. And that's, that's, I think, all true. But I think there's a lot of forethought and planning that goes in, uh, into that. And, and to take that thing, arthroscopic surgery, to the next level of reconstructing somebody's joint and doing that as an outpatient. So it really is patient delivery patient care delivery that I think I'm most passionate about and the things that really interest me most. So how do we build a better mousetrap, whether that's arthroscopic anchors or instruments, scopes, doing a technique in a different approach or replacing somebody's shoulder or not replacing somebody's shoulder. I mean, I think it's not just about that operation. It's about how do we control for their pain or constipation or um, dizziness or whatever it might have been. So I think it's more, it's a, it's a holistic approach when it really does come down to it. And the things I'm passionate about that I, I think are very interesting are advances around the shoulder because we have so much technology, arthroscopic hand open that we can do that, that I'm really excited about. And, uh, you take rotator cuff where you know, it, we used to say, well, there's a huge rotator cuff tear. We can't fix that. Now we've got patches and you know, tendon transfers and all those things that we do, but that's going to fail if you don't correctly immobilize the patient, if you don't get them to the right therapist, if you don't have the right protocol. And that will fail if you don't have them comfortable throughout their postoperative course. So how do we do that? Well, now we've got to talk to the anesthesiologists who are going to do special blocks, and then we're going to get better medicines or different medicines or even older medicines that are now used in a different way to reduce blood loss and, and improve upon the constipation, the dizziness, the nausea. So if we make your experience one that you say, I thought it was going to be terrible, but I would much rather come back and do that again if I could to see Dr. Donaldson because I didn't have the nausea or I didn't have the pain or I didn't have this or, or I did and it was controlled and it was much less than I thought it was going to be severity wise, then that's a success, you know.